Hello to you, take one. Does Lauren German live a double life? What hidden talents of Tom Ellis's changed the course of the whole series? Did Leslie Ann cancel her wedding to film her stunts? Buckle up, you guys, because today we're about to unveil the true offset lives of your favorite characters. Lauren German as Chloe Decker. Digging up info for this girl made me think Lauren is a covert agent in real life. The actress stays away from the public eye. No time for spamming her breakfast on IG or sharing mysterious quotes on Twitter, which Lauren actually deleted pretty recently, by the way. Despite all that, the actress cannot help sharing her two passions, her incredible photography skills and, you'll never guess what else, German's actually a Picasso to be. That's right, despite the actress's degree in anthropology, Wait, what? Lucifer's on-screen love interest drastically changed her career path, just like her character. Chloe switched from an overly sexualized actress into a badass detective, whereas Lauren jumped from an anthropologist into the movie industry for a coin and is a painter for her soul. Just look at the absolutely amazing artwork on her page! And I'm not talking about the photos of her adorable pup, no, 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 no. Although this cosplay of Beetlejuice is award-worthy. Out of 600 posts, selfies are not even half of her feed. The actress doesn't really bother with captions, so you're free to interpret her art as you please. I'm currently breaking my mind trying to figure out the covert meaning of the lady in blue. Do you ever look at someone and wonder what's going on inside their head? Who would have thought that behind that dorky comedian on set hides a mysteriously noir photographer? The only question is, how do I book Lauren for my casual Sunday shoot? Amy Garcia as Ella Lopez. First off, when speaking of special talents, let's start with the fact that Amy is a 41-year-old who looks like a 20-year-old. I am perplexed. Do Lucifer cast members drink eternal youth potions or something? Besides this one particular feature, the cast reminds me of a walking talent reel. You name it, they got it. Although Amy does not get much time in the series to showcase her skills, Garcia has been a professional dancer since the age of seven when she led the Nutcracker ballet performance. The actress recalls living for dance. She trained up to five times a week and performed on stage almost daily. But in this day and age, are we still impressed by fantastic dance movies? Say less. If Garcia never struck you as a comic fan, you must have missed it. Not only is the actress an absolute geek for comics, she's co-written her own. Together with AJ Mendez, the Lucifer star is on a mission to bring a spotlight to diverse, complex, and unbreakable female characters in the form of a comic series such as Dungeons & Dragons at the Spine of the World and Glow vs. the Babyface series. The actress revealed, I grew up reading comics and never saw myself represented in them, so I'm excited to explore these trailblazing characters and create the change for the next generation. AJ and I are basically writing for our younger selves. I guess they've come full circle. With Lucifer being based on a comic, should we expect Garcia to add ideas to the script? Let's see. Leslie Ann Brand as Mazakine. I'll be honest with you guys, I've never had my self-esteem drop so fast after checking Leslie's Instagram. To look like this at the age of 38 should be illegal. Leslie, you set the bar way too high. Oh, you thought she needed stunt doubles on set? Well, I'm here to disappoint you. If you reckon Lucifer's a tough guy to fight, this baddie will show you how to throw some mad punches. Brand's six times a week strength training is no joke. Quarantine who? Unlike some of us who are spending lockdown lifting chips from a bag into our mouths, Leslie takes no breaks, cheap meals, or even intervals in between her sets. No wonder the actress was featured in the Women's Health magazine, their YouTube channel, and is live streaming her home workouts for the world to see. Her stamina and dedication is inspiring. But nobody's born with a body like this. On her Instagram, Leslie revealed her shocking past. The reason for doing this isn't about losing weight. I've had moments in my life where I couldn't pay for rent, didn't have health care, limited what I ate to save money. I know what those worries can do to a mind, but I've always worked out, be it at a park or at home. Action. The actress was so committed to her role of Mazikeen that she literally bailed on her honeymoon. Leslie got married in the middle of filming an episode and went straight back to finish shooting her stunts the next day. And if you're not impressed yet, hear me out. This is Leslie seven months pregnant. During the shooting of season three, Brand had no slack. The actress gave birth and was back in front of the camera six weeks after giving birth. Barely surviving between baby's naps, Leslie was already lifting weights to get her abs back for her role of Mazikeen. Admire the queen and hope that one day I'll be able to manifest that lifestyle for myself. But for now, we're just gonna roll with Tom Ellis as Lucifer Morningstar. Can you believe that Tom was a late bloomer who joined his school theater class for the sole purpose of picking up girls? 
What a twist! I have to admit, Lucifer's charm in the series is Tom Ellis' charm in real life. Who hasn't fangirled over his charisma, his humor, his stage presence, his voice? Speaking of which, how ironic to play a devil and have such an angelic voice. The funniest thing is that the script was already finished when they cast Tom, and the writers had no intention of making Lucifer an actual singing morning star. What changed their minds? You won't believe it. A good old drunken night at a karaoke bar in Vancouver. He were like, oh my god, you can sing. No, it just sort of happened by accident. It was a very happy accident, and as was. The production crew heard Tom singing and decided to rewrite the character tailored to him. Well, you never know what a simple night of booze can lead to. Should I try and see if I wake up signed to a label? You may wonder if there's anything the Scottish actor can't do, or is that his innate talent? Not to mention he can play a guitar and the piano. Surprise, surprise, Tom Ellis mastered his artistic craft at the Royal Academy of Music and Drama together with James McAvoy. Yup, Professor X from the X-Men. And the two ended up playing in the Beauty and the Beast pantomime. And that's where it all began. In fact, prior to establishing himself as a successful actor, Ellis performed in the City of Sheffield Youth Orchestra. Yet the Lucifer series put Tom on the map. After the show, Tom was invited to sing all over the world during different meetups and conferences. <laughs> Kevin Alejandro as Dan Espinoza. And the final hero of the day is Kevin and his dedication to everything he puts his mind to. When Alejandro came up with the idea to pursue acting as a career, he sold all, I repeat, all of his possessions and moved out to LA. The Lucifer star felt it was an all or nothing type of situation and I guess it worked. The actor is absolutely fearless and never stops impressing his fans. A year ago, the actor decided to create his own YouTube channel and put out how he learns the craft of filmmaking. Despite being an established actor, Kevin even signed up for a Warner Brothers director's course to learn film production. The actor was quick to dive straight into practice, directing one of the episodes of Lucifer. I told you he never stops impressing. The funniest thing is while you were binging Lucifer, Kevin established a film company and produced his own movies, and quietly stole the original cast from our favorite Netflix show. Guess who starred in one of Kevin's latest films called Adult Night? <laughs> Promising title. None other than Leslie Ann herself. Hey, are you do all right in there? If you think Alejandro must be loaded, here's another reason for you to support this man. A while ago, the actor set up the Jerry P. Warsham Scholarship Fund with his friend to help underprivileged theater students cover their college fees. A heart of gold, lady ladies and gents. In case you're desperately missing Alejandro's face, go check his workout. Now share in the comments below which fact surprised you the most. Give a like if you enjoyed the content of this video, and as always, thanks for watching.